today our problem is is we have a broken off exhaust stud nothing holds up a project more than getting rid of old broken bolts and this one's way in a hole it's not flat or nothing it's stuck in there good I'm going to show you how I do it these are the tools I used for this project so in order to figure out what size tools to use first you have to know what size thread you're dealing with the stud was an 8 millimeter by 1.25 so I grabbed a bolt and I measured the root diameter of the thread and it came out to about 2.72 so I divided that by 2 and so the nominal bit I came up with was about an eighth of an inch which is a pretty easy bit to get I drilled a smaller pilot hole to get it started so I could uh, just easily get in there the Torx bit I used was a uh, T20 I also had to uh, measure the root diameter of the Torx bit I used and that ended up to be about 1.2 so that's why I went with the 1 8 drill bit I only had to drill into the stud about a quarter of an inch to get it to bite so that's how I determined how deep I had to go then this is just a quarter inch socket to fit the Torx bit in and I turned it with a quarter inch drive ratchet to heat up the stud I used an old piece of eighth inch welding rod I measured it and it was an eighth inch. That's why the eighth inch worked well with the eight millimeter bolt. First, I'm just going to take a flat punch and stick it in there and whack it a few times just to get a flat surface. And I'm going to take a center punch, try to get a marking. I'm going to take a center drill, put in my drill and get a point going in there. You can see I got a little start just so my drill doesn't wander. Get some oil in here. Then I'm going to start with a really small drill. I really don't want to ruin the head and have to take this all apart. So first I'm starting out with a 3 seconds drill bit and I'm just going to drill a little bit of a hole in here. Ah, one hard bolt. Or one doll drill. And you want to use a sharp drill bit. Now I'm into that thing about a quarter of an inch. And I'm going to go up to about an eighth now. Alright, got it open to about an eighth. Now here comes the trick that I use to uh, get the thing loose. Now I'm going to take a wire brush and kind of clean some of this up because I'm going to hook my uh, stick welder up to this thing and use it to heat that bolt up, that broken stud up a little bit. So now I'm going to hook this thing in here. And this is just a piece of old welding rod and I put a little bit of a chamfer on there and I'm going to stick that in the hole. This is my Lincoln stick welder and I'm going to set it to 75 amps and kick it on. You don't want to touch this thing because it's going to get hot. Let's 
starting to heat up. Slowly see some smoke coming out of there. See it smoking? I'm hoping that's going to heat that thing up. We're going to pound a Torx bit in there. Put a ratchet on there. Try to break it loose without stripping it. Oh. Maybe I'm gonna have to throw some other heat to it. Oh, there it goes. that stud out of there without wrecking the threads and I'm pretty happy with that. I'll we'll just put a new stud in and we can get this thing back on the road. And here's my new stud. Now there's a right way and a wrong way to put these in. The, the part that goes in is flat. This end is kind of rounded so I'm going to take a couple of old 8 millimeter nuts put them on there Take two wrenches, lock them down, stick the new stud in the hole, crank it in. want this stud to go all the way in and bottom out or it will rust right there over time so we just keep going in until it goes tight and that's good enough And now we have a brand new stud in our engine. And that's what we were after. Leave a comment below. Like it. Share it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.